चलो दोस्तों शुरू करते हैं विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम टूडे इन दिस लैब वी विल कॉन्फिगर द एमपीएस एलसी वीपीएन विद द सेगमेंट राउटिंग एज यू कैन सी दिस टोपोलॉजी इन दिस टोपोलॉजी इन द एमपीएस डोमेन वी विल यूज द एसआरजीबी ब्लॉक इज रेंज इज 16000 टू 17000 एंड आई हैव मेंशन द प्रीफिक्स सीट फॉर द ईच नोड लाइक फॉर द पी वन प्रीफिक्स इज 16000 वन सो वी विल कॉन्फिगर द प्रीफिक्स सीट इंडेक्स वन सो वैल्यू विल बी द 16000 सेम वे ऑन द पी टू प्रीफिक्स सीट 16000 टू so we'll configure the perfect seed index 2 so that is the 16002 same way on the core routers p1 p2 p3 p4 i have put the prefix 600 200 400 and 300 so same we'll put the prefix seed index 100 so that will become the prefix seed 1600 like here we put the index 200 index 300 in this index 400 i have already configured the ip addresses in this topology and as a igp protocol we are going to use ISIS. I already configured the ISIS, and so we'll now uh, for our first step will be the configuring the segment routing. So we'll enable the segment routing as a new block, and we will configure the prefixed on the loopback zero under the ISIS process. So let's jump to the configuration part. So here we are on the first route. It is a P1, and we are going to enable the segment routing configuration. Okay, first I will configure the. Let me show the quickly show run. What the already configuration is there in this router? So as we discussed, we have an interface configuration, we have an ISS process configuration. So we are using the ISS four, and this is the net ID, and these are the interface I have called to the in the ISS process. So there is no configuration related to the segment routing. Let's start with the segment routing. First, I will label the segment routing global block. Segment routing global block. Our range will be sixteen thousand to seventeen thousand. This is the first step I have to do. Let me commit. It's done. Let's jump to the ISS process. Router ISS core. Here we have to go to the address family IPv4 and we enable the segment routing MPLS. Okay. Let's jump to the now config on the loopback interface loopback zero address family IPv4 unicast. And let me enable the prefixed and go the index index one. As for this node in the topology, I have shown you. For this node, prefixed sixteen thousand one. So I am putting the index one. This means sixteen thousand plus one. So value will be so index will uh, so prefixed for this router will be the sixteen thousand one. Let me do the commit. Okay, so we have done with the segment in this node. Let's jump to the core. So this is our second node, and this is the IOS XC device. Let's see how we can enable the segment routing on IOS XC. Before that, let me check the show run. Go to the show run. So this is the IOS process configuration we have, and we have enabled the IOS on the interface, on the physical interface, and the loopback also. Let's show IP interface three. So this is the loopback of this. P1 device 11 dot 11 dot 11 dot. Save the time. I will quickly prepare the config. I am going to copy and paste it here, and I will go through that. So here, first thing we are defining block SRG block segment routing MPLS, and this is the global back global block range with the 16,000 to 70,000 we are defining. And here we are assigning a prefix to the loop back. So we are going in the connected prefixed map in the address family IPv4. This is the loopback of this router, and index 100 means 16,000 plus 100. So prefixed and node seed value will be 16,100. 16,100. Okay, and in the ISS process also we are enabling a segment routing MPLS. Let's jump to the next one. To save the time, I have enabled the segment routing on all of the router as we have seen in the earlier in the P1 that is IOS XR box, IOS XR box, and this is the P1 that is IOS XC router on which we have seen we have saw how to enable a segment routing. Same way, I have done the segment routing on the P2, P3, P4, PE2, and Define the SRGB block and also uh, enable the segment routing configuration in ISS and assign the prefixed node seed to the loopback zero IP address. 
now we jump to the verification part and during the verification part i will also show you the show, no, show run of the each route so let's jump to the pe1 node we'll do the verification we will do the ping from the pe1 to pe2 pe1 loopback ip address is 1.1.1.1 and pe2 loopback ip address is 2.2.2 same way for this i uh, for this pe1 router loopback is 11.11.11.11 for this 22.22.22.22 and for this 44.44 and this way for this router is 33 33 33 33 let's jump to the verification part so let's jump to the configuration verification part so here we are in the p node this is the node one so let me check the show as a neighbor we show ip interface d sorry let me enable this interface keep the baby subnet one no shut from it now all the interfaces are up as this neighbor up this is the show run we are using this srgb block and this is the prefix seed we have configured 16001 with the prefix seed for this node this is the isi that's it this is the config node we have done show ip route so we have in a loop back of all routers 1.1 and 2.2 these are the addresses of p and 11 22 and 33 44 these are the addresses of core nodes p1 p2 p3 routers so let's check the amplitude forwarding table see that segment route in prefix is that fine and let me then the ping also for the label part we are going to ping p2 ip address with the source 1.1.1 it's by generic so we are able to ping to the trace out also 2.2.2.2 this is the IP address for P2 source 1.1.1.1 generic so we have an enable path reachability end to end let's check source FIPV4 also for the P2 address detail we have in a two path at this node is functional two is hashing and this is the local label assigning and it's label in positive functional so why we are saying the same label in in coming out the reason is we are using the same srg block so each router label with the same string okay so let's jump to the next step we have an so so far we have done the iss configuration and we have enabled the isi from the ios xp and ios xr routers next step will be the we will create the vrf on the pe devices and we enable the bgp enabled in the pe and we check the end to end reachability with respect to customer size before jumping to the vrf configuration part let's do some basic on the ios x2 device also so the forwarding so we have an so ip route so iss neighbors we have an neighbors in place and we can check the show isi segment routing connected seed map so here in this table we can see that the prefix seed index for the each router for the p1 so this is the p1 is self average the local routers are in indexes 100 so this value in the 16100 pe1 index is 1 so prefix seed node seed is the 16001 PE2, so same way 16200. For this 16300, for PE4 16400, for PE2. So these are the nodes. This is the table is showing to us what is the node seed and prefix seed for each router. So now let's jump to the configuration part of VRF on the PE1 and PE2. So now we are going to put the VRF config in the provide size one router save the time i already created the configuration i'm going to the copy paste and i will go through the configuration let me show you the quickly 
So here we are creating the VR and the new name, and we are putting the RT value one dot one one zero. We are doing the import and export statement here. We are calling this interface in the VRF blue. This is the interface connected toward the CE device. Here we are doing the BGP process, and this is the neighbor of neighbor we are defining for two dot two dot two dot two. This is IP address of E two, and our AS is one. And we are only activating the address family VPN V4 because we are going to run the MPPGP VPN V4 within the BE devices. And here we are calling the VR blue and the BGP process. Let me commit here. Okay, so let's jump to the PE2 same way. So we on the PE2 and we'll get the VRF configuration and MPPGP VPN V4 configuration. Let me do copy and paste configuration here. Go to the configuration before commit. Here again, we are getting the VRF blue, and we are calling the customer side interface in the VRF. And this is the router BGP one. This is our AS, and we are defining a neighbor. One dot one dot IP address is PE one. Provide there is one router. Inter look back zero IP address, and here we are calling the VRF in the BGP. Let me do the commit. As we have already checked the reachability between the loopback, this BGP should come up. Let's check the BGP membership status. Show BGP VPN V4 unicast. So here we are. So now we have an, a BGP membership up between the provider is router one to provider is two VPN V4 in the VPN V4 address family. Obviously, we are not getting routes because still we have not done the config on the CE side. But we have enabled the customer side interfaces. We are connected with the C device on the provider to in the VRF. Let's create the one loop back here, and we'll call that loop back in the customer VRF. Then we'll check the end to end reachability. Let me create the interface loop back hundred here. I'm going to put the IP address is triple one dot triple one dot triple one. One slash thirty two. Let me call in VRF blue. VRF blue. And same way, I will configure the loop back on the PE two. Let's create the one loop back here also. I will call in the customer VRF. Similar way as we have done on the PE one. Loop back hundred. IPv4 address triple two dot triple two dot triple two dot triple two slash thirty two. VRF is blue. This is the customer VRF. Now, here we are. We have configured the loop back. As we have already created the loop back in the customer VRF. Now. You now we are going to check the routes in the VRF. Show route VRF blue. So we're getting the routes for the connected per six like this 200, 200, 200 slash 1. This is the interface IP we configured. And this is the loopback we defined on the PE2. Let me ping. Ping, ping VRF blue. This IP address, so we are able to ping. Let's check the route also in the BGP table. Show BGP VPN V4 unicast. We have an at the table, we are getting these routes. Unicast, let me do this detail for this RF Q. Triple two dot triple two dot triple two dot two slash thirty two. Here we can see that this route we are getting, and next stop is the two 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 two. This is the IP address of provider is two, and this is the VPN label service label we are getting on this. Let's check safe table how many labels we are imposing if we are sending packet from this P two P two from P one to P two. Show safe VRF. Blue IPv4 and this is the IP address of 
customer we are at. The customer we want the PE2. Where we are, we are imposing two labor, labor imposing correct 16,002 and 24004. So 24004 is the service level VPN label, which we checked earlier. This is this label we are getting from the PE2 for this customer prefix. And this is the node seed in the transport label segment routing we are defined. Let's see. So it's root PRF Q. So we have a two label embodying correct in place. So we have an end to end equality. So in this lab, we have checked segment routing for the label assignment and we have uh, configured the two customer routers. 